hello everyone in today's session we will come we will complete the concept called black box testing in previous session we have covered a lot of concepts regarding white box testing in our previous video we came we came across what is meant by graph matrices right and in today's session we will cover the various procedures various methods which can be very much helpful in using black box testing Right, this black box testing is also called as a behavioral testing. Its main focus on the functional requirements of the software, right? So, in which categories, especially this testing, need to find errors are very simple. It, it targets on the incorrect or missing functions and interface errors, errors in data structures uh, and behavior performance initialization and termination errors right it will concentrate mostly in these categories suppose take an example in the user interface errors suppose uh, there is a there is a field called age there's a field called age in that field uh, it need to accept only number but if you are giving any words right if you are giving any words if it if by by, by clicking the submit button it automatically need to throw an error that is age should be in a numeric right this is a guideline so such kind of testing we can come up under which will come under the black box testing and next uh, there are different methods which are useful in which are useful in performing black box testing in those methods the first one is graph based testing method right this is the first step in black box testing we need to understand what are the objects which are modeled in the software and what kind of relationships established in between these objects first we need to understand this this particular area that means how many objects are there and what kind of relationships are exist in between those objects after accomplishing this step we need to start do we need to start performing the testing that means how the functionality is performing in between those objects and whether the relationship is happened between these two objects is working perfectly or not right it can be it can be implemented by using some graphical manner right so in that graph in that graph based testing we the it is it is a collection of nodes which represents objects links sorry it, the nodes represents objects and links represents the relationships between the objects right and there are some node weights and link weights also there right node weights will simply tell us the property of the nodes and link weights will simply tell us the characteristics of the link which establish between the two objects right this is a simple diagram you can able to see here object one object two and object three right there are different types of linking directed link undirected link and parallel links right so a, a directed link indicates that it, it contains a relationship in only one directional that means it if it is represented in only single arrow but then we can consider it as a directed link a bidirectional link is also called as symmetric link which has the relationship in both direction and when coming to the parallel links are used when a number of different relationships established between between two graph nodes right that means uh, there are the, if we establish multiple relationship between two nodes then we can consider those as a parallel links these parallel links can be drawn is in the two parallel lines right and coming to the next concept equivalence partitioning this is also another method which we will use in the black box testing right so equivalence partitioning is a method that divides the input domain of the program in the form of a classes in the form of a classes which hold some data and we need to perform many test cases on those classes right so very simple it follows the simple guidelines we can apply the testing uh, specific for a range or a specific for a value or specific for a set or specific for a condition right so this type of for testing we call it as a equivalence partition right so equivalence partitioning means we perform testing on a from classes of data and that and that particular and, and that data can be tested by using these following guidelines right and next one is a boundary value analysis right this is also one of the method especially user only one particular if I, if I know a particular 
boundary of value that means if i know the boundary things then it is very easy so that we straight away do perform the testing on on those boundary of values itself right so especially this uh, a boundary value analysis leads to a selection of test cases the exercise on bounding the values right this is also one of the important method and next last one is graph based sorry i i i forgot to uh, edit the heading the heading is orthogonal array testing right so this orthogonal array testing is especially applied when we are testing on a component suppose if you are testing on a component that means you people will remember the dra the, the graph uh, the graph diagram which contain nodes and some edges right in that we have i will show you the, i will show you the, right if you see here you see here it contains some nodes edges and a particular uh, connections has established between these nodes the, 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 there there are from first node to 11th node we are traversing right in the traversing we 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 come under this particular thing that is called region it's a closed region which which uh, which we call it as a region between uh, two edges which have, uh, two nodes which has some multiple edges of that right so why i'm saying this region means so in that particular region we simply consider it as a component right so that means orthogonal testing can be applied to problems in which your input domain is relatively small but too large to accommodate exhausting testing right so especially this particular testing method is useful in finding the region faults right so for that purpose we simply confirm it as a one word the testing performed on the component we simply call it as a graph based testing methods it is a complement for the it is a it is a, is a complement for the equivalence partitioning method right so that's all for now for these are the important methods if you, if you, if you, any question has asked on black box testing you can simply write down all these uh, important methods right so you can simply define the black box testing what is black box testing and what are the categories which we are concentrating on the black box testing and after that what is what are what are the what are the methods graph based testing method right and uh, equivalence partitioning method boundary value analysis and graph based testing methods right that's all for today's session right thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel